Hello, Glass Industry! It's Mark from Glass Open Book and GAP News is back! In this episode, news from Stolzle, For Glass, and updates about the Furnace for the Future initiatives. But before we start, a few words about the sponsors of this episode. We'd love to thank OMS Group for sponsoring this episode. OMS Group is a leader in the development and production of strapping, hooding and wrapping equipment and systems for the glass industry. Like this thermal shrink packing machine FT53 Top Pal. Click product inquiry to contact OMS Group directly via Glass Open Book. Stolzle joins forces in Zero CO2 glass project. What is this project? The overall goal of the Zero CO2 glass project is to use an all-encompassing approach to develop a revolutionary glass melting process in connection with a new type of CO2 neutral and energy-saving glass melting furnace. The innovative melting technology is aimed to reduce energy consumption by 15% compared to conventional furnaces and shall allow CO2-free glass melting. Aachen University is acting as an R&D partner in this project, whereas Horn will be the technology carrier. The project is funded by the German Ministry of Economy and Climate with a maximum of 8.33 million euros, with a total project volume of approximately 15 million euros. So, well done Stolze for focusing so hard on the production efficiency. And by the way, you might have missed it, but Stolze has also achieved gold status in the Ecovadis rating for the second time in a row. This definitely shows the company's approach. Next up. Terrible news! Remember we made a video about the Furnace for the Future initiative, which involved the joint action of 19 glass manufacturing companies across Europe to build a large-scale hybrid electric furnace? Well, apparently, it might not go as planned. The EU rejected a funding application. Weirdly, but for some reason, the Furnace for the Future decarbonization project has not received a grant by the EU Innovation Fund. Fivis says that even though 19 companies did volunteer to contribute financially to the project, the EU grant was still representing a significant contribution. We'll see where this goes and hope the industry will find a way around it. But there is still some positive news in the world of heat and furnaces. Four Glass has begun the second phase of tests for its experimental furnace. The company is very serious about thoroughly testing the new technologies so that even the best calculations and mathematical modeling have to be assessed in practice. About two years ago, Forglass invested in the construction of an experimental furnace where the company can test a number of its innovative technologies aimed at improving energy efficiency and reducing harmful emissions. After that, the experimental furnace was cooled and a number of parameters were assessed. Now, the furnace has been brought up to working temperature again and the second phase of tests has begun. This is obviously a very costly experience that not too many technology providers are able to afford, to be honest. But for glass management feels it is necessary to ensure that all performance and safety parameters of its inventions are met. That's it for this week. Make sure you follow our YouTube channel or LinkedIn, depending on where you're watching this. Definitely share this video with your colleagues and do not hesitate to leave the comments down below. It's been Mark from Glass Open Book. See you next week. Goodbye.